Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to another Dan J special. Yeah, also again. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, uh, or welcome to another video if this is your first time being around here. If it is, hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm just vlogging a little on a Sunday, just showing you through my day off of the week. And you know, just talking through concepts of rest, relaxation, all that good stuff. So today, I've already um, showered, about to play my daily game of 2k i'm gonna play a load more because it's sunday and i have so much time i've uh done a duolingo lesson to keep my streak alive same with memorize and i've done my anki flashcards so that they don't build up i don't really have too many today is actually one of the highest flashcard days i've had in a long time i had to do 86 it took me uh nine minutes i think so nothing too long but yeah um and now all I have for the rest of the day is to do a review, stretch, film this video, and yeah, I'm just free. Uh, I also need to get a second for my one second of the day. I've played a couple games of 2K now, and I think it's time to progress my day a little. So I bought a skateboard this week, and I'm gonna learn how to ride it. Let's come along with me for this very cool unwrapping. I don't know. Hold on. But before we move on, today's video is sponsored by Dan J. What a guy. I have a new song coming out this Friday, which sounds like this. I know you'll see me shining, and I hope I'll see you too. I'll see you too. No so if that floats sky, your goat, pre-save it now with a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to this ASMR unwrapping my skateboard video. Um, I've never done, like, ASMR really before. I've, when I first got this mic, I, um, did a few meme videos that I sent to my friends. So, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm any good at this, but I hope this is soothing for you. So, without further ado, let me grab the skateboard. <laughs> I have a, um nail clipper to just put some pressure into the thing. That has not worked at all. I've done it, I've done it. <coughs> Made the tiniest hole. Oh my gosh. Here we go. As you saw, my skateboarding was absolutely atrocious. Couldn't hit the ollie, I tried for an hour, I'm gonna try again, I'm not quitting. Um, so yeah, on to the next part of the day, which is just lunch, just, just chilled lunch. Some stir fry I made earlier in the week. And now here's yeah, Josh do. trying to prove that he's good at basketball. Do you know how close that was, that? 
was a nice little one too. We can edit it in that he got in. Um, and now here's Shanna. They call him the brown mamba. No, they do not with shots like that. Well, and we got a white guy. Let's call him Gordon Hayward. Oh, crosses Jana with the poor defense and gets it. No You're really going to let him do like that? And here we go again. He checks him, runs around the guy. Poor defense from the brown. And it's over just like that. Apart from like flashcards and stuff, I don't really do work on Sundays. Um, and so I just got back from the basketball court and um, the Medical Society in Exeter are doing like an AMK day, which is basically our exam. So they just do teachers. And so I'm just gonna listen to one of those in the background so that I can catch anything that I don't really know about that topic maybe. It's not really worked to me. On the off chance that I do catch something, I will probably write it down. But a lot of the time it's just revision. So it's not really, it's like passive, not active. So you might be wondering, what do I do all day in the times that I didn't go play basketball or all that stuff? Like, what's the whole point of taking a day off? Like, I can get ahead by taking this one day off. The best people aren't sleeping. <laughs> Relax. Let's chill. Do stuff that I don't usually do in the week. Scroll through Instagram. Although I am trying to get myself to go through Instagram, I gotta be like the only kid that I know who's trying to get themselves onto Instagram more. So yeah, that's actually one of my goals for this week to post a story every day. But it's personal brand stuff. It's not like waste time. Although it is good to sometimes relax and just go through, see how people are doing. Anyway, I'm off topic. So Jana was telling me today, uh, this kid uh, that basically it's been about a year since we started taking Sundays off where basically um, in second year after our second exam uh, we were like we work every day of the week consistently we're in a rhythm this is when I first developed a rhythm of like studying a certain amount every day as opposed to like getting to exam season doing like three hours every day or every few days and then just being inconsistent so I was getting consistent I was like I could take the weekend off a day off so I ended up just starting doing six days a week of uni work and I do music stuff all that stuff six days a week and I was doing languages seven days a week though because I just wanted to slap through Duolingo and I was like this is a quick way to get through it but yeah, and now it's just a really good way to just relax, reflect. It's nice to just do nothing for a day, like literally just have to get my streaks on like memorize Duolingo and then do my flashcards, stretch a little and then just chill because I don't really get that during the week because I just like to do like the things I do, making music, revising, learning languages, That those take like quite a bit of time. So yeah, and then, I don't know, halfway through last year, I decided to stop revising on Saturdays. I was like, it was like, when I started third year, I was like, if I just increase my revision time by 20% every day, then I can take Saturdays off too. So now I have an even freer Saturday, but I still do music stuff on Saturdays because I'm, I'm slapping it this year. We're running up on our goals. Like, come on, G. Ah. Um, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. It is the end of the day. I feel well refreshed, well relaxed. Going into next week. Reset. Just, you know, nowhere close to burnout. And I'm just going to go hard for the next week to revise for the exam that's on Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, the Tuesday after. Got a vlog about it coming out, so you can see me revise if you like that sort of thing. And yeah, so yeah, if you want to implement this into your own life, take Sundays off. I don't know, what's that? Increase what work you do in a week by 16% every day, and then just take a day off and just chill. Like, it's not everyday work every day because that's long. Work is not your life. You can't just work to live live to work wait 
because living to work is just what what a boring life like you, you might be enjoying this stuff but that's not what life's about so yeah just, just take it easy take it easy thanks for watching this video i've been your boy dan j if you'd like to see me skateboard more follow me on instagram because i may be uploading more on there when i start actually being able to do ollies and uh harder tricks even though that's like the most simple skateboard trick there is and yeah new video next week new video every monday and if you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up and i'll talk to you in the next video